I know that my fans and shit are on. I'm only doing this video in the shower because it's on my mind. And what I want to say to everybody is this. You know, um, in my opinion, like, if you've been adopted, you kind of fit the description of a slave. Um, because see, when you're adopted, like, somebody gives you up and you go to another family. So your name changed. You know what I'm saying? You really have no clue who you are. Um, everything that's perceived or forecast for you to do is forecast based on your new family. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people be like, well, what you mean? Imagine if Floyd Mayweather was adopted at birth to a family. His name was whatever, Alan Green or some shit. He probably would, they probably wouldn't have put him in boxing. You know what I'm saying? He probably wouldn't have been the best fighter ever because he wouldn't have saw that humans are creatures of learned behavior. And that learned behavior comes from sin. So he would have never known nothing about Grand Rapids, Michigan. So he was adopted in Richmond, Virginia. And you know what I'm saying? Um, he ain't had no connection to who his birth family was. He would not be Floyd Mayweather. And that's my situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my entire life, I've always been exposed to my gifts. You know what I'm saying? And I was adopted to a family who don't have no gifts. So they always looked at it like it was bullshit. I was running game. I was trying to, uh, you know, take the easy way out of life. They didn't like making movies or me like making clothes or me inventing products. I invented my first product at the age of eight. But um, see, it's a whole different story when you're adopted because for me, anyway, <clears throat> I never knew anything about my adoptive family. So I never knew my roots. I never knew where I came from. I really never knew who I was. I just always knew who these people wanted me to be. Now I knew inside of me, I could not be who they wanted me to be. And that's why we always had a conflict because they thought I could just switch some light switch on or they even thought I wanted to be like them. And I never did. Only thing I ever wanted to do was find out who I was. So, you know me, man, I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna do what I do and I'm gonna grind till I shine. But um, I've always knew I was different, but it wasn't until 2008 that I really started, you know, turning myself in a manner in which uh, the difference or the gifts that I have could be exposed positively. So, you know, my, this video is to really say, like, if anybody has it hard in America, somebody who's been adopted, especially if they don't know their roots. I mean, how can, know, how can you know who you are, where you're going, if you don't know who you came from? If the people you asking, look, where did I come from? Why do I think like this? Why do I act like this? And they're telling you, you stupid, you dumb, nigga, we don't know why you act like that. You need to act like us. But for real, it's genetic. And if you look at Floyd, I ain't piggybacking on Floyd. Niggas know I fuck with Floyd. Floyd the cushion boy, I'm a cushion boy, but, um, if you look at Floyd, he's the most reasonable example I could use. If you look at Floyd, the reason he is where he is is because of what he saw. He saw his daddy um, whooping ass. He saw his uncle Roger whooping ass. He, um, you know, his daddy put him in boxing. Like, they said when Floyd came out, he was boxing. But imagine if he had been adopted to a family who didn't like balance or didn't believe in sports and entertainment. What would he have been? See, he's only Floyd because the descendants, people who came before him, said, you know what, this nigga got gifts. They can only recognize it because they was in that field. Same thing with me. That's why I left Richmond. I ain't leave because I was, man, I don't need to explain. Niggas know I ain't. I mean, I go back to Richmond tomorrow and ain't nothing but love, but it ain't no support. You feel me? Like, they don't believe in gifts. That's a cursed city, man. They do not believe in, 90% of the city is Christians, but they don't believe in God giving gifts. The only thing they believe in is going to work and working for somebody else. And fuck all that. It ain't, God ain't put me here to be no motherfucking slave. If he did, I would have still been in Richmond. I would still been in that family of around. Like, until you have self-awareness of who you are and where you came from, man, you ain't doing nothing but living another person's life. <clears throat> so, for me, what I did was, I spent the bread, get my information, um, I took the risk, and now I'm reaping the fucking reward. Man, I 
Has it been easy? Absolutely not. But, you know, for a long time, I was living somebody else's life. You know, I was caring about what the fuck them people thought. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Putting their sanity or, you know, what the fuck they think before what the fuck I think. And at the end of the day, if they was truly for me, they would have let me live for me. So they not for me. They for me being what they want me to be and trying to take credit for this shit. But however, when I say I don't want to be that, I want to find out who my own mama is. You know what I'm saying? Why she like, why I like the soul? These people are like, well, you just like the soul because it's easy. The shit ain't even fucking easy. But until I come aware of where I came from, who did this shit in my family, and how I got it genetically. Talking to them is going to do nothing but upset me. So that's why my new movie is so sweet, man, because I talk about all these issues. Like being a doctor. Man, you got to, if you got ambition, now if you want to be an average person, being a doctor might help you because you might get into a regular family. It might engage you where you can get a job and whatever. But if you got God-given gifts, nobody's going to expose your gifts. Like the people who know you got gifts. So if you adopt into a family and your whole environment has changed, your geographical location, the people around you change, and you even went from a gifted individual to an ignorant ass nigga who think he can make it on his own. That's just the mindset when you fucking with people who not related to you, who don't have the same gifts. You know what I'm saying? That like when you got gifts, man, you you people just don't understand this shit. This is real. Right? It ain't nothing I can do. It's just shit I ain't interested in. I can do anything. I fucking want anything. It's unreal. I can make jeans and shit, clothes and all that shit with no pattern. And I ain't know it took a sewing class. Well, how you do it? I don't know. That's a gift. You can't explain it. I don't work at this shit. I don't... When I feel like sewing, I sewing. I done made teddy bears, headbands, puppets. I don't... Man, I done made every fucking item a human or animal could wear. And I don't even practice. I see something and I do it. If I fuck it up, I just redo it. But I don't sit there and just practice. But where does that come from? People around me ain't none. Can't nobody I know do that shit. Why wouldn't I want to know where the shit come from? They telling me I'm crazy. I know I ain't crazy. I got 191 IQ. That's genius. The fuck am I crazy for believing in myself? All right. So what I need to do is, for real, I would like this nigga to Spend this bread, find out who I am, and build off of that. Because my name is Juan Smith, but my original name is Satterwhite. And once I start finding out shit about my real mother, my real father, like I found out my real, my mother's father played Major League Baseball. Um, you know, it is a rumor that my father's uncle is the biggest black man in. in a film. I used to hate fucking cameras, bro. Everybody know that about me. He was like, man, I used to be like, man, pull on the fucking camera. Man, I love cameras. I said, but where that shit come from? These people can't explain. So why the fuck am I asking them? Been asking them all my life in the same story. You doing it because you want to do it. You don't work hard. Man, I might have more degrees and certifications than everybody in their family. But being that I ain't stick to that shit, the, uh, you know, what well, my fucking niggas do, man? They gon' ostracize you and talk about you because you're not like everybody else. Especially the moment that you decide to become yourself. So what I do, I remain myself. And it's the product of my decisions.